Hey, Archie Herring, Believe in Three Foundation, where we teach you social responsibility leadership through service learning. Today we are at Peace Haven Farms. Now, Peace Haven Farms is a great opportunity for service learning. And although school is out, learning never stops, which is service learning. Today we have Resurrection Fellowship Church, their youth department, where during the summer they pledge to give three acts of community service throughout the whole summer. A great opportunity for them to learn to impact humanity and to uplift people. They have chosen this year to use their time, talent, and treasure to make an impact on humanity for the greater good. So let's go ahead right now and see what Peace Haven is all about. I'm here with Gail Hayworth, board director of Peace Haven Farms outside of Greensboro, North Carolina. Gail, tell me what Peace Haven is all about. Well, Peace Haven is a community farm uh, in Whitsett, North Carolina uh, on Lake McIntosh. And it's a, uh, for the past three and a half years, we've been building uh, a farm. Uh, we have animals. Uh, we have bees, we have vegetables as you can see, and all of these vegetables are going to food pantries both in Burlington and in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. And um, we are about to build our first house, which is a permanent low-income housing with supportive services for special needs people. Uh, it can be all types of special needs. Um, they can come and live here forever and be engaged on the farm, uh, be engaged off the farm, uh, but will have activity going on all the time. Uh, we're, as I said, we're about to build the first house, which uh, will be just above our barn here. And um, the gardens are just above the uh, barn, and you can hear probably people in the background because today is a work day on Saturday and we probably have what 40 volunteers here today mm -hmm. so great well tell me about the community service work day how that works and what it's all about and the specifics of it well part of the plan uh, we we first thought that we would build the, the a house first thing but our funding fell through but that turned out to be a blessing in a way because we've been building community with volunteers. Not only the people who live around Peace Haven and in the community, but both in Burlington, Greensboro, Ashboro, from Charlotte, from Boone, from uh, uh, State University, from Chapel Hill, Elon College students. And they come here two days a week. Saturday is the largest day. Um, they come in and at 12 noon we break and have a covered dish luncheon and on Wednesday the same thing they're going to start at 8 a.m. on Wednesdays just simply because of the summer heat and they'll end at 12 noon so um, it's they can be involved with feeding the animals mm -hmm. or planting or weeding or whatever it's 89 acres so it's a lot to take care of Wow and so I, I see that you have a lot of groups out here and they do a lot of service learning. Mm -hmm. What have, has that helped uh, Peace Haven and what does it do for those that are involved in the actual service learning? Well, uh, it gives with the residents uh, and on any given day there will be special needs volunteers out here working. And they are involved with the uh, volunteers that come to work. And it's just as important for that volunteer to be involved with that special needs person as it is for the special needs person to be involved with the volunteer. It works both ways, uh, especially uh, children being involved with someone with special needs that they've never been mm -hmm. around before. Mm -hmm. And you can just watch their eyes light up. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, I'm sure it's something that they look forward to they every do. weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's good. It just is... Uh, very community involved. That's a part of our mission statement. Mm -hmm. So um, it 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 works. Great. And can't wait for that first house to be built <laughs> <Great>. and open. <laughs> well, what are the needs for Peace Haven right now? If you had to say something, we need this or we need that. What would it be that Peace Haven would need that the community could do? 
Well, as a nonprofit, uh, a nonprofit always yes. needs donations. And you can go to our website, which is peacehavenfarm.org. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to not only donate, but to donate your time or to volunteer. If you want to bring a group out, we have several scouts out here today. We have um, a youth group out here from a church, and uh, um, it's, um, there's lots of opportunities. So if you go to that website, it'll, it will give you opportunities to, and, and actually give you a wish list. Uh, being a farm, we, there's always things that we need on the farm. So, and just about everything that you see around here has been donated mm -hmm. uh, from a gator that we use to feed the animals on the back part of the farm. Uh, I think I mentioned that we're on Lake McIntosh. The mm -hmm. back of the property ends at Lake McIntosh. So, um, um, just go to the website and you can get all the information there. Well, Gail, we really appreciate the time and thank, right, thank you for you. allowing us to come out here and work and volunteer and be involved in this community service mm -hmm. project and service learning. It was great for the children. We thank you and uh, right. hope to thank see you, you again. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much. Well, we hope you've enjoyed your time here at Peace Haven Farms as much as we've enjoyed it. We enjoyed having Resurrection Fellowship Youth come out here and make an impact on humanity with their service learning. And we ask you to join us on Facebook and watch our development as we spread the Great Commission and impact the world. Believe in three.